Like, I'm not even really liking the new spider man No, like, that hurts me. As much as I like Zendaya, I do like Zendaya and Tom Holland. Yeah. I just don't think I like them in that film. So I, I think he's know. just such a I think I just like Spider-Man. Just, just, we need to start this, sorry. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alexa. And I'm Amina, and we're just going to have a little chat about superhero films that we love and that we've grown up watching or things that are going to come out. Mm -hmm. The X-Men. Like, I grew up on that with my brother. Like, definitely favourite superhero, Wolverine. I remember when Logan came out crying in the cinema. Because, not only because it was so, but because it was the last one that he was yeah, going to do. Yeah, that's going to be the end of For me, it had to be Spider-Man. Purely because... I essentially have just grown up with it that there's been so many reboots at this point. So you start off with the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Mm. There's one, two, and three. We don't talk about three. That because. wasn't great. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I think it kind of works for my pet peeve as well that I hate when mm. they cast older actors for younger roles. So seeing Tom Holland play Peter Parker as our age is kind of fun going into a cinema and seeing someone your age being a superhero and like, yeah, I could do that. I could sling some webs. Definitely like Wonder Woman. Um, I mean, it was a, like from DC. Like it was so good. Like it, it was, was really probably their best. For me. She like defies all of like um, the female like uh, stereotypes, especially so, for the time period as well. Because wow. it's set in what the late nineteen forties. Yeah. What do you put nineteen tens? But that didn't sound. Oh like... no, that so nineteen forties is Second World War. History. <laughs> <laughs> I got C in history. <laughs> I think one of the most powerful things that came out of Wonder Woman had to be that No Man's Land scene where she's striding across and dodging the bullets. It was just so mm. empowering. I think, we, you know, there hasn't been um, before Wonder Woman a big superhero film with a female lead in it. Like, you know. Not a good one anyway. Yeah. So I remember going to see um, Avengers Infinity War, which is what, the third instalment of mm -hmm. the Avengers series by that point. And I've never had a film have quite such a emotional Impact, yeah. Not even impact, it was like a pain. It was like, just like you know, you, you, know when you, like, you, you see people like gasp, and you're like, I would never gasp watching a film, and then you're like, oh, they've like, killed like, everyone! Like, just, you, and then you know, you're like waiting, and you're waiting, and you're waiting for like, okay, they're gonna come back now, that everyone's gonna come back, and then they just don't, and mm -hmm. you're there like, how could they do this to me? I haven't already seen it. Sorry. <laughs> Like that's when I that's when I watched that. That's when I realized I was actually invested in the, in the yeah. Avengers. Like I, I just was, like, felt so sad. Yeah, I was like, like, I've lost a friend. My <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the way that they managed to combine all of the different characters into one film without it being a complete another mess was just yeah. Because there was phenomenal. A, there was a lot going on and there was quite a few storylines as well. Mm. So it, you can get lost in it. Yeah, because I remember sitting there thinking. Sort of, I got about halfway through and suddenly I just had this moment of awe when I realised how many characters I'd seen, how many storylines I'd seen developing and how it just felt like it fit, like they'd done the jigsaw, per like, jigsaw puzzle just perfectly. Because DC initially did like standalone stuff, it was more their thing. Oh my god, suddenly. the best, no, I said Wonder Woman was the best thing they did. Um, Batman. Oh yeah. Amazing. Like, I, like... That's, I feel like that was the darker mm. side of superheroes. And that was DC was kind of like, it's like, so obviously you have comparison to Marvel. Marvel, I call it, say, like the bubble wrap um, of like um, superhero films. It's and maybe clever. that's just where like DC may miss the mark. Yeah, they're yeah. not, they haven't got that flexibility yet. Like, they're still finding their footing. Aquaman, for example, like you had Jason Momoa, who, you know, was in Game of Thrones and he did amazing. And he, he, he seems perfect for the role of Aquaman. Like, he like he has the stature. He has the mm -hmm. like the line of work of being um, very like active role. He was perfect for it, and I don't know, but it just like it was like a flat run. Like it was just like oh, you okay. start watching and you're just it like so much was going on and it was a long film and you were like oh. I'd also love to see more um, films like Logan. <laughs> I think I'm like a super fan of Logan or something. But, um, <laughs> so I'm, what, sort of like some more darker edgy I films? I really want like, yeah, like almost a bit indie. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. You know, like, I feel I want to see more like depth, like even more depth to the character. Like um, Hancock, who was played by Will Smith. And I feel like that was the perfect representation of like, he, this guy is like, you know, he's a he was a bit of a drunk. He was sleazy. Like he would go and save the day, but he would be so bad at doing it. Like he okay. would cause like people wouldn't even thank him even if they 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 got saved. Like, and I really like it's kind of like a normal person who became a su superhero and what he would do with that powers. And I think I like, I just feel like I want more like relatability. Mm. Obviously, a superheroes it's kind of it's fantasy. Yeah, it's out of this world. So obviously I'm not gonna like 
relate to it straight away, but maybe elements that you know humanizing some of the things yeah. would be quite nice to see. We cannot talk about superhero films and not mention Black Panther because it was just that was an that was a game changer for the industry. Like I think there was also so much buzz building up to it because we've never like there hasn't been much black mm. representation. Um, in superhero films, the soundtrack I absolutely adore. You know, you got Kendrick Lamar, Cesar in it, and then yeah. that song that they did together, All, the All stars. stars. Like you just you, I remember just sitting in the cinema and like singing along to all the songs. You know, a lot of hip hop, R and B, but like very much now that we can all relate to. And I was just like, mm. it feels relevant. Yeah, still, that's that the film. thing. It makes it feel modern, and like current. I loved it. I actually recently watched um, Spider Man into Spider Verse. And I absolutely like loved it. And the mm. thing is, I didn't know what to think about it because it was a cartoon, um, like superhero film. And I wasn't like, oh, I don't know. Like, are they really doing another Spider Man? Like, how many more? Like, can you draw out of it? And it, you know, it's one of the best ones. Like, and and because of the trailer, you see loads of different versions of Spider Man, and you're like, oh no, like this could go so wrong. Like, this could be so bad. And then it was so good. And I think I've, it's a definite watch. Like. Yeah, I think if you want to do watch something a little bit different, also funny as well, and like, and like the animation was really really good as well, and I loved all the characters in it, and yeah, sorry. it seemed to get like a second life to it as well. It kind of came out once, people were like, really, like the way you were thinking, another mm. animated Spider-Man film, like I can't be bothered with this, and then people went to see it and they realised actually. It's like a beautifully animated film. It's really good to watch. It's very enjoyable. And then everyone started to go see it again. And I think there's a reason for that. And it's probably a testament to just how good the film is. And then is. you get Post Malone singing the song and you're like, Post Malone? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was really good and fun and catchy. And I really liked it. Something I think is really great about the superhero genre is the fact that there's films for kind of all ages and all types, to be honest. Yeah, there's so much variation. Mm -hmm. Like you have things like, um, the Incredibles, which is like a PG, so it kind of it's so good, and sometimes I even forget that it is a superhero film because it's with Disney, yeah, um, like the association. But it is literally it is an amazing superhero film, and it's for all ages. Now, I and mean, then on the opposite scale, you have things like Kick Ass and Logan, so tongue in cheek. Are so good, but definitely for the older generation, like mm -hmm. like 15 and above, definitely. Well, it's the same with um, Deadpool, really, because mm -hmm. that was something that was quite new. People were really hesitant about doing a hardcore, gritty superhero film that we were 15 with some dark humour. And, and Ryan Reynolds was just so funny. Like I, like, I did watch it with my dad, and I was like, is this a bit gory? Ooh. Like, is it? It was, but it was like, I think it was really nice to see um, like a little bit of thrill, a little bit of gore in a superhero film because you don't usually see that and Deadpool just hit the mark as so well with it. What did you think of our thoughts on these superhero films? And if you want to comment down below, if you disagreed with us, if you liked what we said, just let us know.